Oh, dear God. Oh my God. What have I done? My computer is going to explode. Get ready, boys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Tabs. We're playing another game. It's been another update. There's things in the game that are new. You haven't seen people play it, so come on, you. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's MVR. Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator Pre-Alpha 0.2.0 by Landfall. Play option sandbox quit. They updated the game. It was 0.1 last time, I believe. I'm not entirely sure uh, what alpha version it was, but now it's 0.2, which they have added new units, new levels. I just clicked play and it has 20, 20 uh, levels in the campaign as well. We're going into sandbox mode. I wanna check out all the new stuff in the game. What they've added is they now have desert, winter, and Japan maps instead of just the hills or the encampment or whatever it was last time. Uh, and they also added a few new units that I really wanted to check out. They have samurai, viking, uh, chicken man, and chicken man man. So chicken man is a, is a chicken man and chicken man man is a manlier version of chicken man. He's the man that comes by and says like, hey, chicken man, look, there's only room for one of us. You're gonna have to go. So like any good battle, I'm gonna start off with a bunch of peasants and then try out a bunch of Vikings to pillage and plunder the peasants and see if it'll work out. You know, what? I'm gonna give them a little bit more of a fighting chance. I know it says my performance is gonna be bad. I'm pretty confident it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. This is this is the right amount of peasants I should have. I'm really ready for a very high def smooth battle to happen right now. Smooth. Okay, maybe I need to tone it down just to, just a tad, just a little. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna do a little bit of Vikings. Let's say four. Also, this game seems to like really mess up my mouse. I don't know why. Like I can't just go up and down. It really wants to stick to things. It's weird. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna still start with peasants. So do that many peasants, that many Vikings. I'll see what they look like. So the, the Vikings are just guys with axes and shields, you know, trying to pillage their way through things. Peasants are just mindless mongoloid bodies. You know, they're soulless animals really, just meat, walking meat. So they're gonna chop them down, like the meat they are. Maybe they'll win. Nope, <laughs> there's no chance they're gonna win. But the Vikings are running away, I don't know why. They're, they're not done pillaging, I don't know why they're running away. You can do it, Mongoloid! Go, kill kill the Vikings, defend your village. He, did, he almost, so close. And you know what, I wanna try out the, uh, the chicken man and the chicken man man. So, let's try chicken man, oh, it's a big guy. Chicken man, man, and chicken man, man, man with one more chicken man. You know, let's do, ch do two, two chicken mans. So there's a chicken man man and chicken man and a chicken man with the, on, on the same team as the chicken man man. Let's just play. Let's go in here. <laughs> what the? Okay, so the chicken man, I knew what they were. What the heck? The chicken man man is a man who poops chicken man who poops chicken in their, they're both men and they're making out. Now they don't want to make war. They just want to make love. That's, that's some good, good battling tactics, guys. All the time, every day What you're doing to me Makes me wanna tell you that I can feel my way to you It doesn't matter which way I'm facing Good job, guys. It's, it's, it's best not to be violent in these days, you know? There's so much violence around the world. Why not just spread more love than anything? Maybe that's a little bit too much love. Let's get in there for a closer look. See what to, oh, yep, that's nice. That's a, that's a good, let's see exactly where they come from, by the way. Let's see where the chicken men are born, birthed from the chicken men. Why is this a thing, by the way? <laughs> no, what? He killed him. He didn't love him, he killed him. He loved him too hard that it killed him. All right, let's try out the desert map and uh, let's do, you know what? No, no, first we'll do Japan because I want to try out the, the samurai, but there has to be a good setting for these guys. It has to be their hometown of Cherry Blossom Road. Uh, there are cherry blossoms. <laughs> All right, are they going to meet up in the water? Oh, this is epic. Oh yeah, go for it, boys. They're not very fast. I always thought that samurai would always run like this, right? Like a ninja, like. Weeb. That's the weeb style of running. I need it. Yeah, I need to not do that anymore. Go, go get them. Go slice them up. I didn't even see what happened. They were, they do a lot of damage, but they don't have very much defense. Like a glass cannon, really. Let's do a couple chicken men men. Maybe let's try three chicken men men. Let's do a Hawacha with a bunch of archers. Oh, they're like long things now. Interesting. 
and then a bunch of samurai. Let's see if this will be able to take on the giants that are the chicken man men. Let's try this out. Go forth. What? They make the Hawacha guy riding on top now. <laughs> he just straddles it. <laughs> Look at that vibration. That's a good, that's a good battle move right there. He doesn't have a face. And he died. He, <laughs> he dies with this thing. Wow. This is, this is terrifying. This is like if Godzilla put, pooped out other Godzillas that pooped out many foul. They have a foul smelling butthole. But um, those, those units are way too strong. That is like ridiculously strong. I wonder if you can use that even in the campaign. Uh, now that we have, wait, I want to try out winter real quick. Winter and desert. You know what? Vikings, samurai. Let's do a couple hoaches. Let's see if I can do anything to defeat one chicken man. Let's see if that'll work. There, versus one chicken man. This level's cool. Little snowy mountainous area. I love the fact that he's straddling it. I want to I wanna see this get launched out. So let's go straddle man. Kill it. Oops. <laughs> oh, they're back up. They're back up. It's okay. It's okay. Well, most of them are back up. The ones that mattered, you know. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. I wonder if that's going to be like a final boss in the, the campaign thing. Or if that's just going to be like um, just a normal unit you can use. Because that seems a little bit too too overpowered for my tastes. Uh, let's try this out one more time though. Couple chariots, Vikings in the front line, samurai behind them. I, there, there has to be something that can kill it, by the way. It, it can't just be like, just the god among tabs. Like it, there has to be something that can defeat it. There has to be. I'm gonna find out what that secret formula is. I'll do it here live. Well, not live, but pre-recorded for the <laughs> first time. Go forth, chariots of power and love. Kill the one known as Chicken Man Man. Maybe the only thing that can kill Chicken Man Man is another Chicken Man Man. Because it doesn't seem like anything can really kill this guy. He's just stomping everything. Like, not only does he poop out Chicken Men, but he stomps things. So it's like, if you get close to him and try enough to attack him, he'll just, he'll just stop. <gasps> I did it! It took a shit ton of units, but I did it! Let's just wreck my computer, shall we? Let's, um, let's do a 5v5. Let's, uh, let's do this thing. It says that I'll still have good uh performance in this which is interesting they're, they're like hey let's just let's just talk it out guys let's just let's just be friends uh. <laughs> oh my gosh they're building up so many chickens oh my god so many chickens have come to the battle i wonder if the chickens are actually sentient and like know that they're trying to battle these other chickens and they're like oh f those chickens we only care about our own chickens we hate those chickens yeah this is not this is good for performance just like the bar said just like the thing told me yep very smooth, very smooth gameplay. I've never seen such a smooth frame rate before in my life. It's like a, it's like an entire five. There's one down, I think. Yep, I see the X's on his eyeballs. They're just kicking the dead body on the ground. They are just kicking him on the ground. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never run. That's a lot of dead chicken. That could feed an entire country for like a couple months, if not years. I mean. I'm a big fan of dumpster chicken. So, uh, you know, with the H3H3 food review, that's a very accurate review. Dumpster chicken is a very hearty meal any time of the day. All right, let's 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 crash my computer. So that, that is 24 units, okay? 24, 20, so 12 v 12. 12 v 12 chicken man man battle of the century. Um, this is gonna be terrible on my computer. Okay, this just looks like normal guys right now though. Oh, there we go. Now they're, now they're spewing out some some chicken men men. Oh, dear God. Oh my God. What have I done? My computer is going to explode. Get ready, boys. It's gonna pop. It's gonna pop. <laughs> I always have these things at the ready, by the way. You never know when you're gonna need them. I'm rooting for the chicken man. Do you like this slideshow, boys and girls? I love, I love me some flappy, flappy vid. This is like the best PowerPoint presentation of how to battle in the world. I feel really bad, so I feel really bad for the chicken men. The chicken men men are all the ones that are really just doing the battling itself, but uh, I feel bad for the chicken men because they're just so tiny and they just get stomped on, but I feel extra bad for the, the chicken. No one thinks about the chicken. They just come out of the poop, poop shoot, then they go to battle and they die. And then, and no one cares about them. They don't have names. 
They're just nameless soldiers. They, they need to live. They need to have a fuller life than this. They need something more, something better. Guys, I'm getting really upset. This is a, this is an upsetting game. I don't like I don't like this. You gotta you gotta have a core message, okay? The core message is that you you don't you gotta look, chicken lives matter, okay? Chicken lives matter. And that's my core message. Battle it out already. I want to see the end end result. I like how they're just in little pockets, just kicking the crap out of each other. Nothing to really uh, really hold them back by any means. I, I there is so many bodies down there, by the way. So many chicken men bodies. I might be here for like another good 20 minutes, just waiting it out. Let's see how long it takes, I guess. Couldn't do it. There was too much too much going on. That was. Uh, I tested the limits of <clears throat> of time and space. I'm really interested to see if a bunch of samurai can actually kill uh, a chicken man because that they do a lot of damage up front. They do once they get up front, they're just like uh, once you get washad, it's over, done for. That's the that's actually what they've been trained since ancient times was how to do the wacha. So we'll see how it does, how they fare against the chicken man man. Hopefully they don't stab each other. Uh oh, he already has one backup. One back, oh, they're just getting stomped. Oh, wow, they do a lot of damage. Holy crap, <laughs> that's actually very useful to know. I wonder if a bunch of archers can actually take out a chicken man man. Let's see here. Go archers, go. So it doesn't seem like they're doing much damage. They're, they're, they're really shooting for um, the, v the vital parts of him. Two of them died spontaneously. Three of them, four of them died spontaneously. Five of them died spontaneously. Six, seven of them died spontaneously. They like to just fall over. I made him a porcupine. He's got a porky crotch, guys. Let's see if uh, three hirachas can even kill a chicken man man. Let's see here. Fire the missiles. Go. Do it. Did I do it? It didn't do it. I have one more left though. And did he make it? Wow, dude, they do, they take so much damage. Let's try 1v1, like what a samurai can do against a viking, because the viking has a shield. I wonder if like, can, it can actually even deflect any damage. I know this seems really lame compared to the battles I just did, but I'm, I'm, this is just me being curious. Wow, he just like bypassed the shield and went cut. Just a little boop. This might actually be like the next overpowered unit is the, uh, the samurai. Let's try this out here. Go forth, young one. You do it? Oh, dude, he totally did it. Wow, samurai are awesome, and they don't cost that much either. I wonder if I can do an entire campaign with just samurai. Oh, oh, yep, they got overtaken. Yeah, so <laughs> they definitely uh, are a glass cannon, so it's like they do a lot of damage if they can attack it, but if they get like, you know, a little bit of hit, um, besides a, a viking and a shield, I guess, since they have, are a little bit farther away and they have a shield in between them, um, if they get hit though, they're they're just screwed. But uh, anyways, guys, that was that was a cool little. Uh, did I miss anything in the sandbox here? Maybe they'll make like a spaceman or like a uh, a race car driver or a chicken man man man. Oh crap! Don't do it. Uh, that was like a chicken inception. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. It really helps me know that you enjoy this kind of thing, and I want you to enjoy the things that you enjoy for. Just thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> and remember to keep having fun. Bye-bye. Okay. Those, those units are awesome. They're one.